Hi! So, today I'm going to quickly show you how to set up two different types of buttons. One is going to be for the context menu, and the other one is actually going to be just a regular button. So, I'm going to put this into here, and we go over here. I'll deselect quickly. And then here we have a box, and here we have a cylinder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the, clicking the cylinder disables the box. This is pretty simple. First, we simply go to the cylinder here. We can go to Attach Component. Then we can simply go to Transform Interaction. Make this a touch button. Go back, go back, go to Common UI. Go to Button Interactions and get a button toggle. Now in this button toggle here, we have a field that says Null, which is the target value, which basically is what we'll be toggling. So we simply grab the active state of this box here, put it into the button toggle, and there we go. Now if I click this, the box goes on and off. This Obviously it works because of the touch button here, where you'll see if I hover over it, you'll see it's hovering. If I press it, it'll say it's pressed. The moment I press it, it triggers the button toggle here, which will toggle the active state. In common UI, in button interactions, you have a bunch of interactions that all work the exact same way like that. Now, over here, we have another cylinder and another box. This one is going to actually be a context menu item. So instead, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make a new child on the cylinder and quickly rename that to button. Then I'm going to go to attach component. We will go again to common UI and get button interactions button toggle because we will still need to obviously toggle this. So we'll grab the active state right now. And then the actual thing that allows us to make a context menu button here will be radiant UI, context menu, context menu item source. Now, once we have this, we can either add another slot above and give that a root menu and the sub menu, which sub menus are basically little folders all in your context menu that you can go into, like for example, uh, locomotion, and then this is a sub menu. However, if you just want it directly to be here, like for example, the select own, which is just a little function I have that scans the gizmos in the world, and if I made them, it destroys them. If anyone else made them, it does not destroy them. So if we want to do it like that, right on the root of the context menu, we simply go to root context menu item, we grab the source, and we plug it into the root context menu item. Now we can simply grab this here, and you'll see my item on my context menu, the new white button here. I'll click it, and it'll actually toggle it. Now, what we can further do, if you want to know whether the box is enabled or disabled, we can go one back, one back, go back to common UI, go into drivers, value option description driver. Here's all the different variants for the values, and if you need any other ones, you can simply type the data type into the top. But we need a Boolean, which we know because this is this little black field here. And it's a state of enabled or disabled. These little check boxes are called booleans. They can be true or false. So let's uh, get a boolean. Grab the active state. Plug it into the value here. Then we add another option. The reference value will be true. And we'll simply make it so that this will say box on. And then we drag this into the top once it copies and retype that to box off. And this will basically make it so that it'll, depending on the reference value, it'll either say box off or box on. So then we grab the label here, hook it into the label. And now if I grab this and go back in here, you'll see now it actually says box on. If I click it, it says box off. 
You can then forever, obviously, as you can see here, set up colors. You can set up sprites so that there's like an image that changes. For example, if we go to Locomotion again, you'll see here there's a bunch of different images on here and they have different colors. And you can also control those from here. But yeah, I hope this helped. And you now know how to set up little menus. Bye.